I'm going to jump in and show you how to do what's called a parasitic draw test and see if there's a problem because I don't drive it enough and I keep running into having a dead battery. I think that this battery is draining too fast. I mean, I could just let this car sit for just a couple of days and it's a completely dead battery and that's excessive to me. Uh, so I'm going to find a specification, find out what would be standard for this car and, and accessories like the clock and and any engine control modules that they're, they're going to drain the battery because they hold some memory and uh, so obviously you can't let them sit forever or they're going to drain for sure but let's go ahead and do the parasitic draw test and see what we're working with let's get to it well, apparently Bruce can't decide to not stay out of this lesson so here's a really cool little trick I learned at Harley University actually on how to get good connections when you have battery posts or cables that are too big just take yourself a pair of ice grips and now when I clip my lead on here I'm gonna be able to have a really good firm connection so I'm really surprised that that would drain the battery in just a couple of days so Specifications vary from model to model, but on average about the minimum is 30 milliamps is an acceptable range. So I'm feeling pretty good that there's no problem other than I am just not using this car enough. It's just plain drain in the battery from, from lack of use. Now I'm going to do something real quick just to prove it in the video because we're kind of stabilizing somewhere around here and people have a lot of controversy of should you do the negative or should you do the positive. I'm going to go ahead right now and do the positive just to prove a point. No difference side to side. Just to, to prove a point here that this parasitic draw test is working, I'm going to go ahead and turn the headlights on. And when I do that, watch that number jump up there. That's just the parking lamps and it jumped up to 4 amps there. So that 4 amps is being drawn just by the one parking light in the front, the two brake lights, but I do have the door open so the interior... Uh, dome lights are actually drawing as well. This is a no key on position and you can see what it's drawing. Let's do a test of just the dome lights in the radio, you know, any modules there in the computer, anything that's drawing right now is totaling that 1.54. If I want to know exactly just dome lights, I'd have to have everything else disconnected by pulling fuses or something like that. Let's go ahead and shut the door. Right there, just watched them go out, and now we're back to where we were to begin with. So, I, I feel good about this. I think this is going to be a, a good example of a vehicle, like I said, it's just sitting too much, and I'm going to go ahead and put my, my disconnect on. So, All right, there you have it. There's how to uh, uh, test for parasitic drain on the battery, make sure you don't have a problem. That uh, We'd always appreciate it. You know, you can head on over to uh, howtowrench.com and get a membership uh, to support us or say thank you. We got t-shirts too, stickers. Uh, always, we appreciate all your support. Make it a great day and keep wrenching.